the space robot Valkyrie will become the main assistant to astronauts on the Moon and Mars. This humanoid robot will autonomously explore space and serve as the main aid to astronauts. NASA is sending its humanoid robot Valkyrie for trials that will demonstrate the robot's ability to remotely service autonomous and maritime power installations. The test will be conducted by Woodside Energy in Australia. The company will assess the robot's software and provide NASA with data to expedite the development of robotics for remote operations from Earth when the robot is on Mars or the Moon without astronauts. The robot's tasks will include inspecting and servicing infrastructure, as well as tending to plants grown in open space. NASA hopes that Valkyrie can handle monotonous tasks, freeing up human time for more complex assignments. It also plans to use Valkyrie's experience at Woodside's facilities to study how to better design robots for work in dirty and hazardous conditions, similar to those encountered on the moon in long-term workspaces and living quarters created as part of future Artemis missions. Valkyrie, also known as R5, stands at approximately 183 centimeters and has been in development for 10 years. Valkyrie operates on two Intel Core i7 processors and a 1.8 8 kilowatt hour battery, allowing it to function independently for about an hour. Valkyrie has a simplified hand structure consisting of only three fingers and a thumb, and its head has three degrees of freedom. The robot's designers have also incorporated anthropomorphic features, hoping that the robot appears more human-like rather than just a piece of metal during solitary, extended missions. The Surface Avatar project team has announced successful trials of remote control of robots from Earth's orbit. A group of bots operated in semi-autonomous mode within an artificial Martian landscape at the German Space Operations Center. NASA astronauts on the International Space Station adjusted their actions as needed. The robot's task was to perform preparatory work before the arrival of astronauts on the surface of the Moon or Mars. The working group included the humanoid robot Roland Justin, which unloaded the landing module and installed a seismic sensor, the mobile robot Interact, a rover for observing the terrain, and the manipulator robot Llama, designed for scientific research. Everything the robots did was displayed on the controller's screen with a first-person view. The astronaut observed the machine's actions, and if necessary, could switch them to avatar mode or fully autonomous mode by pressing a button. Control was carried out using an interactive joystick with feedback. The team completed all experiment tasks in two hours. Chinese manufacturer Unitree Robotics, known for its affordable and agile robodogs, unexpectedly revealed a teaser of its own humanoid robot, stating that the video represents the result of six months of work. According to the developers, the robot H1 inherits leg mechanics, drive systems, as well as perception and movement algorithms from its smaller four-legged counterparts. Engineers successfully adapted these advancements for the new bipedal form of the robot. The humanoid stands at approximately 180 centimeters tall and weighs approximately 47 kilograms. The robot is equipped with a proprietary high-torque motor and a gear transmission. Perception is handled by 3D LiDARs and a depth camera. The leg joints have five degrees of freedom and the arms currently under development will have four degrees. The exact timeline for the robot's full readiness is unknown, but Unitree stated that it will be available for sale within three to 10 years and will cost less than $90,000. Nayla Robotics has launched a fast food robot, which according to company representatives, can independently fry chicken wings, prepare french fries, and other items, season them, and serve them on plates. It is called Wingman and is available for rent at $2,099 per month. Priced at $22 per hour, Wingman can save employers 75% of labor costs if they operate 18 hours a day on average for 30 days a month. According to the developers, the robot with artificial intelligence and computer vision system can simultaneously prepare multiple different dishes, retrieving ingredients from the storage area, breading chicken, salting potatoes, and performing all other necessary tasks. It seems that soon humans in the fast food cooking industry might not be necessary. The startup Contoro Robotics has unveiled a system for intuitively remote controlling robots. It is aimed at providing access to the robot from any point in the world and was developed with the support of NASA and the U.S. National Science Foundation. The developers explain that their approach involves various artificial intelligence technologies, allowing human operators to assist in situations where artificial intelligence falls short. Additionally, artificial intelligence learns during interactions with humans, gradually improving its automation capabilities over time. 
Ubitech Robotics has unexpectedly released a new video featuring its humanoid robot Walker X. While it was previously positioned as a smart butler and even a family companion, the company is now offering a look at its ability to intelligently recognize and manipulate objects in a manufacturing environment. This is partly not surprising. The company announced a couple of years ago that the robot was ready for sale, but there had been no news about Walker X for quite some time. Perhaps the robot turned out to be too expensive for household use, prompting Ubitex to offer it to more financially viable customers. Only time will tell whether the robot will find its niche in this sector. Robotics enthusiast Thomas Burns has created a retro-futuristic animatronic robot using an old Arduino-powered television and the Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant. The main idea behind the device was to design a robot that somehow made the Alexa Voice visible and had a pair of eyes for realism. The eyes themselves were printed on a 3D printer, and smart cameras with facial recognition were embedded in them for the effect of presence. Space Perspective has successfully sold over 1,600 tickets for its space flights, generating approximately $200 million in revenue. It's worth noting that back in 2021, Space Perspective opened reservations for its Neptune spacecraft, which will ascend to the stratosphere using a high-altitude balloon. The airtight capsule accommodating eight tourists and a pilot will ascend to an altitude of 30 kilometers. Neptune will ascend smoothly at a speed of 19 kilometers per hour, with the entire flight lasting six hours. The size of the balloon balloon lifting the spacecraft is comparable to that of a football stadium. Ultimately, for a price of $125,000, passengers in the capsule will be able to enjoy the view of the Earth against the backdrop of the darkness of outer space, an experience deemed comparable to that of astronauts. According to Space Perspective, commercial flights for Neptune are set to begin at the end of 2024. Researchers from the UK and Switzerland have unveiled an aerial additive manufacturing system capable of autonomously 3D printing buildings and structures. The fleet for 3D printing consists of two types of quadcopters, build drones which deposit materials layer by layer and scan drones which use standard optical cameras for continuous 3D structural mapping and quality control. The drones collaborate based on a unified blueprint adapting to changes in the construction's geometry in real time as the building progresses. In experiments, the drones were able to create a 72-layer cylinder made of polyurethane insulation foam, measuring 2 meters in height and 30 centimeters in width in just 29 minutes. The production accuracy achieved was 5 millimeters. The system operates autonomously and can be scaled for printing large structures in hard-to-reach locations. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.